Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Timon and Mari here today with another Action Timon and Video. And for today, we're going to go over the Tuesday update, and this one's seemingly another letdown, but for a very specific reason, which I'll get into later. So, to start the video, what do we want to look at first? Let's go over to the gotcha. Noah is up. If anyone's interested in pulling her, do so now because she is a limited supporter. I don't know why it doesn't say it on the banner. It just says pick up gotcha. But if you actually go read the patch notes, it does say she's a limited time supporter and that you cannot use gotcha coins on her. So make sure that you do go for her. In fact, I'm going to do a tin pull right now and get cucked on camera so everyone can laugh at me to start the video. Because I know I'm not going to get her. Yeah, I always get bullshit. Okay, next. Come on. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Uh, all garbage. Great. Classic Mari look. So now that that's done and out of the way, I'm not pulling on her again because it costs too much. We are going to look at the event. Yes. We do have this event for this girl, Granny Province. I don't think she's that great. Um, okay, this is why. So her passive is good. Increased damage dealt with range attacks by 15%. At S level 5, that will be 30%. And the damage reduction from bleeding is fine. Like, her passive does synergize with her active. But, she's just not that great. Only because we already have... can't remember her name right now, but I always call her Yugi. This waifu. Nino Weaver. So, Nino basically does what Grani does. And Grani just has, like, that little bit extra added to avoid the... Like, to give more damage reduction while things are bleeding from her active. So, it's okay, except the fact that the damage reduction only comes, like, every 40 seconds when you can actually use the ability. And overall, like, I just think Nino has a better active in general than Grani has. And on top of that, it being limited to ranged, while a lot of characters are can be, like, hybrid and have, like, ranged abilities mixed in with their kit... The only two dedicated ranged characters are really Emily and Yuki. So with that being said, she's kind of, again, a niche supporter. She's going to work on ranged supporters, or ranged characters, and that's what she's basically going to do. To people who, like, may not have a huge collection, yeah, she's a nice addition, and she's cute as a button. Like, I can't knock, knock that. Her art is amazing. But she's just not the greatest thing ever. I won't say she flat out sucks, because she doesn't suck. She's a decent free-to-play supporter overall. And I'm happy that we at least got a decent one, but I'm going to continue to say it. We just need the ones that Japan has that we still don't have over here in Global, because those are actually great supporters, and it sucks that Global players still don't have access to them. But overall, like, Granny's a decent supporter. She's okay, I'll give her that much. Outside of that, let's look at the reward list. Is there anything new happening in Box 10? Okay. So there is something new happening in Box 10. These crystal kits that allow you to awaken characters, it looks like that if you go into Box 10, you'll actually be able to get your hands on one. So that's good because putting a crystal kit behind the arena for 15,000 coins was just a terrible, terrible idea. And I don't know what they were smoking to even think that people would even bite on that. So at least this way... It would take you roughly 12 events to get a character awoken if you don't have any crystal kits lying around. And yeah, it's a very slow trickle, but at least it seems that there's a free-to-play option, at least for this event. Who knows if they'll keep putting the crystal kits in here, but, you know, it's nice to see one here. We'll just have to see what happens in the following events. And outside of that, you get through Box 9 to finish your Grani. All even number boxes drop gotcha coins outside of the final box, which will drop you a crystal kit. So overall, I'm happy to see that. That that actually pleases me. It's good to see that. So going on, let's let's go back to Noah. I was kind of pissed off she didn't drop and left the gotcha. So what does she do? We all kind of already know what her active does, so we're going to look at her passive. It says Rapunzel's Curse. Oh god, that's a cool name. Sorry, I love fairy tales. Anyway, it says increases damage dealt against snared enemies by 15%. It reduces damage taken from snared enemies by 12%. Okay, I think this passive is god-awful for a limited supporter. And I'll tell you why. 
Her passive active under Jack's step says character skill restores HP by 2% of the damage dealt and snares the target for 3 seconds. And that applies every 15 seconds. Okay, so if you get her to Awakening 2 and max out the supporter to 60, generally any numbers in green double. So that snare would go from being a 3 second duration to a 6 second duration. Honestly, that 6 seconds just isn't really long enough to take advantage of the damage dealt against snared enemies. It's just not. It would be on Sakura, because Sakura has a built-in snare. So you could like run blue Sakura and dodge around and, and get the snares that way. But outside of putting it on Sakura, I don't think any other character has a true snare. So that 6 second duration isn't long enough. To put it in perspective, even if you got Noah to S level 5 and had the 30% damage against snared enemies, if you decided to ult, most ult cutscenes are longer than 6 seconds, so the snare would have already fallen off by the time the ult resolves. So it really only gives you room to do maybe a skill, maybe two, if they have really quick animations, but that's all you'll really get out of this, and it's on a 15 second internal cooldown that the snare happens, so it's just not enough uptime to really get anything out of her passive. That still doesn't change my opinion of her active. I do think her active is really great. I think all parts of it are great. Getting the life still is amazing because that's basically sustain that a lot of characters lack. And if they throw Noah on, they'll no longer lack it. And another thing is the fact that her active actually hits everything, knocks down everything, deals damage, and then heals for 5% of the damage that it dealt. And I'm assuming since it's an AoE, you'll get damage per target. So overall, I don't think this part of the ability is bad. But I do think the Rapunzel's Curse passive is bad. Honestly, I say she's just like an S level 1 pull. If you get one copy of her, you don't really need to build into Rapunzel's Curse. And the only thing you'll be missing out on is like S level percentage. And having actual max HP and defense. Because as, as S level raises, these values would go up as well. But I think she'd be fine at S level 1 just with Jack's step giving you sustain. And that's my overall opinion of Noah. Now, the next thing I'm going to kind of bitch about and then we'll end the video. We're going to come over to the store. Costumes. So, we do have Summer Beach. These are the swimsuits we have available to us. We have Morisaki, Ingrid, Yuki, which I am going to grab, Renko, Sue, and Nui. Now, Renko was mileage in Japan, so you're probably wondering, well, in Japan Renko was mileage, and I believe the Asagi swimsuit was Golden Pass. Well, now they just pretty much did the old Wapti, put Renko here for 350, which is nice for any Renko fans, because they were dreading having to pull mileage. And they took Asagi, and threw her in here, in the Desire Shop. So now Asagi is essentially the mileage skin. Which sucks for any Asagi fans. On top of that, there is no Golden Pass. Like there was with the Japanese release. And you'll notice a blaring issue here. If we come back to the store. That Asuka swimsuit they tease is just fucking missing. It's just not here. Now. If they had never teased it, no one would know. No one would have any idea that that swimsuit isn't in the game. Because they would have never told us about it. So what I don't get is why would you tease a swimsuit for Asuka knowing that there's a, a fuck ton of Asuka fanboys who want a swimsuit for her and then not put it out. My guessing is that it's probably going to come later in some sort of golden pass and they're pretty much cucking it behind monetization. But at the very least if that was the case they should have just put the golden pass out with the other swimsuits. So I don't know what they're doing as far as Asuka's swimsuit. Another thing I also want to point out is the swimsuit event had weapons on the Japanese servers. Those weapons, that gotcha isn't here for us. So I guess we're not getting the summertime weapons either. Unless it pops up next week. I don't know. Who knows what they're going to do. But either way, we're missing the summertime weapons. And we are missing the Asuka swimsuit. And that really sucks. Like at this point in time... With how much flack they've gotten with the last week's update. With this whole enchanting system that no one likes. I think they really should have like. Should be cautious with what they do. Because people are already put off by the game. Like we were discussing the steam charts the other day. In my discord server. And it's literally on a, a steady decline downward. It's all red if you look at the statistics. 
and the game's been only losing players since launch, and our all-time high was around, I believe, May, when Kirara and Ingrid came out. I think that was the month they came out, if I'm remembering right. So at this point, teasing an Asuka swimsuit and not releasing it is just causes more of an issue because players are already jaded, and those who are sticking around are kind of looking for reasons to quit. Unfortunately, I'm trapped here because I love Kirara, and I won't leave until she says I can. So I'm going to be here regardless, but they really need to work on keeping other players because not everyone's going to stick around and a lot of people are jaded with the game, as I've said. And teasing a swimsuit and not putting it out is just a way to piss more people off. And I don't know why why on earth they would tease it. And the other thing is Asuka's swimsuit looked so damn good. Like, oh my god, I think I'm just going to make the picture of her swimsuit the thumbnail and be like, where is this? But, either way, that's the video. You can get your swimsuits now. As a matter of fact, we're just going to do this because Yuki's is amazing. What colors can this be? Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, it's so cute! Okay, but I like this. I like this one. What does she lose? No, she's keeping all that and we can give her her normal hair. But this, this is the best. Oh, I love it. This little white kitty with the blue eyes. Equip. Okay, then. That's adorable. Look at her little pink bow. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm gushing for Yuki. This is super cute. So, I'm happy. I got my Yuki swimsuit. All is right in the world. And, oh, so cute. Look at her little sunflowers. Da! And with that, I think that's going to be the video. Um, I'm sorry, Asuka fans. I don't know what else to say. But I'll say sorry, I guess. Because Grimry sure won't. But let's hope you guys get your swimsuits. I'm a little bit annoyed Kirara didn't get a swimsuit. Just because, like, she's a newer character and, you know, Ingrid got one and it kind of feels like Kirara's going to end up in, like, Renko and Emily Hell where she barely gets skins. That's kind of my prediction here, which will suck, but... Uh, TLDR, Grani's not a bad free-to-play. Definitely max her. Um, Noah is good, but I would only pull her to S-level 1. Asuka players got cucked out of swimsuits, so we'll see if it ends up in a golden pass in the future for them and the summertime weapons as stated before are just mysteriously missing and that's the gist of the tuesday update like i'm not as mad as it as i was mad at it as i was last week but i'm a little disappointed to see that you know they teased a swimsuit and didn't put it out that has me all sorts of flabbergasted and it doesn't make sense but it is what it is and this is action timing and they are known to make questionable decisions so with all that being said, you boys and gals have a great rest of your day. Good luck in all facets of the game. Don't get cucked on the Noah banner like I did. Hopefully you guys get something from your discount poll. And with that, you guys take care. And I'll catch you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.